Well, I guess we can see pretty good. Yeah. Um. Oh, yeah, give my Starbucks advertisement. There we go. Starbucks. <laughs> We've sold out. <laughs> so, yes. hair sprout or, you know and you can style it with your fingers and make it <laughs> you know in the virtual world anything is possible I am I'm actually <laughs> Try to fix it. I'm All right, go try. I'm just going to let it be the way it is. <laughs> this is good. This is good. This is going to be good. Jesus, you're here. Whoa. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your presence. Come fill this place. Touch me. Lord, we glorify your name.
kingdom would come to earth and um, and just give us this day our daily bread. Um, it just, it, it makes me think about um, what we're doing with the Thailand New Life Foundation is uh, um, a friend of mine, Steve Allen, who actually lives here in Franklin, he was walking over an overpass in Bangkok, Thailand and uh, saw this family of kids just sitting, they were just placed on the overpass and then their dad was on the other side and uh, they were just begging for food. Um, for money for food and um, eventually their Steve got into a relationship with his family and uh, their father was actually put into prison um, for drug use and so these kids were on their own and uh, so Steve and Sam invited them to come to our church and then eventually took them in our home into their home and uh, that was kind of the start of this Thailand New Life Foundation Wow! and wow. so uh, so it's a uh, it's Eventually, we found a Thai couple who were some of the first Christians in our church, and they uh, took these kids in <clears throat> and have been providing for their needs um, many years now. We've had um, several kids come through the, the home there. Mm -hmm. It's not a big orphanage. It's not our goal to uh, take care of thousands of kids, but it's uh, our goal to provide a, a real home atmosphere, wow. uh, parents taking care of these kids. <laughs> it got very dark in here. Wow. So there we go. So we, we go from the beginning again? Or no, we... no, I'll just, I'll edit it out. Edit it out? Well, <clears throat> maybe we should start. Do you want to intro me? I just kind of went into it. No, no, that's, 
that's what I want. I want it to be organic. I want it to be. I can go on YouTube and clip it out. Okay. But um, yeah, I just want it to be. I don't want right. it to be like. Oh, there they did. They there sat down and made a video. <laughs> right. Okay. I want it to be like. Just kind of. Have every right. video we have its own life. Okay. Um, All right. So, so uh, these are the kids from the home, and uh, that's just kind of a snapshot. But um, you can see they're just precious children. Uh, that God rescued from the slums of Bangkok and uh, given them a place to live. And so our basic mission with Thailand New Life is to um, provide for their you know, basic needs, food, clothing, shelter, uh, give them the best education possible. Um, they're at a private school there in Bangkok. And we're believing these kids are going to grow up to be leaders in the community in Thailand. And uh, the second part of our vision is uh, Ying and Sawit, the couple who are house parents for this home. Uh, they've just done a great job raising these kids. The Lord has taught them a lot about marriage and family. And so they've just begun teaching on marriage and family in the local church there. And when we were missionaries in Thailand, my wife and I were missionaries in Thailand for 17 years, one of the things we found was there was very little teaching on marriage and family. Uh, we could hardly find any books about marriage and family in Thailand. Um, many books have been translated into Thai Christian books, but there just hasn't been anything done on that Ooh. area. Wow. And uh, the, the society as a whole, marriages um, are, are not good, but even in the church we found uh, most marriages there was not really much intimacy. Um, the uh, couples would live together, but not really have a warmth of love between them. And uh, Ying and Suet have, have really learn to love each other well, learn to love these kids well. And we believe that they uh, have the tools to pass this on to a whole generation of, of couples and families raising kids in Thailand. So our next phase in, the, in our mission and vision for Thailand is to uh, translate some marriage books into Thai and equip Ying and Sawit to, uh, to hold seminars and, and trainings around the country um, teaching people how to have a good marriage, how to raise uh, godly children, and, uh, and, and maybe even inspire some others to take kids in uh, from the streets and to uh, you know, adopt them or be foster parents for them. And so in that way, uh, to really reach out to, the, um, to the, the poor and the hurting in Bangkok. Wow. Wow. Well, my name is Michael Ricks, and this is Russ. And what you're seeing here is kind of the marriage of the artist and the missionary kind of going into the same opportunity here and I wanted him to get on this video here and share a little bit about the ministry God has given you and your wife and your family. You have how many kids? I have six kids. Six kids, yeah. awesome. And you and your wife, how many, how many years were you in Thailand? We were there 17 years, <clears throat> wow. part of a church planning team there. Wonderful, wonderful. Um, th this was just me kind of taking what God told me to do back in the past, uh, last fall, 2011, and that was God just told me to take my music and connect it to missions. Mm -hmm. um, so as a result, um, I basically kind of walked away from the whole idea of being more of a solo artist and more of a band, and the band I have started now is called the Life Missionary Band, and the website is lifemissionaryband.org. Um, and basically what God told me to do is take the music to the broken, to the mm -hmm. homeless, to the fatherless, to the orphan. <clears throat> and since fall of last year, God has connected me to his little feet with Michael and Chris mm -hmm. Dehan and Mercy 29 with Lyle Phillips and mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, uh, visiting orphans. Mm -hmm. uh, and all these relationships with missions has mm -hmm. just developed. Um, and so uh, it's just, it wasn't a coincidence.